Hey, how y'all doing? It's Sharonda, and hey, how y'all doing? And today, per usual, most always, I'm here to talk about. So, let's get into this thing, shall we? Okay, so today I'm going to be talking um, Intrigued by Danger by India Carter. This is a black romance, e erotica, uh, erotic, erotica, <laughs> erotic romance and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flipping between me just talking about the book and also working out of my journal so yeah I wanted to do a journal entry for this book um, it is a really good book um, in my opinion the better book in the series right now she has three um, there are three brothers and I believe two sisters so I do believe we're going to get the sisters books as well so yeah so let's go ahead and get to this thing, shall we? Okay, y'all. So we are down to my journal. Um, I have a new background for my iPad, so I'm super happy about that. Um, yay me. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Good Notes app. I know it's a little bit bright, but, you know, this camera is very weird with my iPad screen. So... I don't know why but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and it's just gonna open up to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this journal right here which is my reading journal and we're just gonna go ahead and start now I will do the book board later I will show it at the end of uh, I don't know maybe I'll just post I don't know but either way you'll see the book board and with the book board you know you're just creating images for this particular uh book um uh, which yeah um <laughs> but i'm gonna go ahead and start and we're gonna we're just gonna get on to this review because who, who won't be here long right not us all right Okay, and I'm back. So like I said, I'm going to interrupt my own uh, journal entry uh, just to talk about the book. Um, like I said, this is definitely um, the better book in the series. I, I just think this is the better book. Um, I loved uh, Declan's and Ella's story. Um, you can just tell the author took her time uh, with their characters and also 
with that story um especially since Declan himself is dealing with a uh, very crippling uh debilitating anxiety to the point where he is taking um medications okay um I love that he was such an emotional character on page I I, I fought myself with it because sometimes it, it just you know, it got to me a lot because I wanted him to fight more for himself. And I did want him, how I always say about a lot of uh, female characters, I wanted him to get out of his own way, get out, get out of his head. Um, and Declan had a really hard time uh, doing that um, within the story. So it, I, I struggled with Declan um, throughout the read, but I enjoyed his character a lot. I love that she made him such an emotional character. Because, you know, everybody can't be an alpha male, you know what I'm saying? Some people have to step to the goddamn back. And I uh, think that Declan is a perfect example of uh, a male character that I would like just, that I would like to see as a reader in more romances, period. Especially um, black romances. Um, he was a crier. Um, and, yeah. Um... I loved uh, Ella's and uh, Declan's energy together. Um, I think they had great uh, energy. You just knew that these two belong together. Like once they they linked up and, 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 and clicked up or whatever, like every time they were on page, the energy was just really amazing um, between them. It, it, it was just, a thing to it was just a good thing to um see on a page now when we go inside of the story uh we are understanding that as readers that Declan does have um a long time girlfriend uh winter um who he is with living with they are to the point that they have a child together these two have been together for um 20 years um, but she is the, uh, one of the many reasons that Declan, um, Declan's anxiety is at the level that it is at. Um, and she is also the main reason why we get this romance between Ella and Declan, okay? She is the one that introduces a open, uh, because they're not married, you know, they're just... They just shacking up <laughs> as folks like the, you know they, they've been in a long-term relationship um and that was just a culmination of everything um especially uh with winter herself um but she is the reason why him and ella end up together um by the end of this book and for her to just do a total 360 degrees and have such an attitude with Declan and Ella by the end of this book when she was her funky ass was the one that introduced that these two go into a, a, a open relationship because according to her she uh you know Declan was weak and you know she needed more and you know if they just do this together it would make the relationship so much more because an open relationship is something that Declan did not want to do he did not want it but uh I will say um Winter forced his hand she promised him things that she knew that Declan wanted and she was just very manipulative when it came to De Declan she knew that she could manipulate her, herself her way throughout that relationship and she took advantage of you know of him um by introducing this open relationship to them so the the way she did that that flip and that 360 by the end of this book i was like girl get the fuck on somewhere because nah um so her tripping out um being mad that Declan actually fell for another woman when it's your goddamn fault. You know what I'm saying? When your longtime boyfriend did not even want that. It's crazy. But during the read, you also understood that Ella, not, not Ella, but Winter was acting the way that she was acting towards uh, Declan because she could no longer control him. And you saw his growth as a character throughout the read. Like his growth was 
amazing. Like the and, and she had she would do things to push his buttons to make him mad to push him. I mean, like literally pushing a man into his eye. Excuse me, literally um pushing a man into anxiety attacks. It the, the lady was off her rock up. But um I will say that even though I could not stand her ass by the end of the book, I didn't like the way that the arts have kind of like made her, you know, made her into this whole 360 of crazy by the end of this book. Um and I get it, you know, losing control of someone and losing control of a 20 year relationship it, it it can it can make you act away but i don't know i i just did not like the way winter was by the end of this book because to me she was very cold she was very calculated and like i said she was a manipulative bully when it came to Declan. she could control him so just to see her act the way she was acting by the end of this book i just it it, it didn't sit right in my spirit and i did not like it because she was too calculated she was too controlling she was very much Declan's bully so i was just like nah i don't mm -mm, no no like yeah losing the 20 lose on this going um going through it after realizing that you fucked up and you're losing a 20 year relationship with a man that truly loved you and truly wanted to work something out with you i i could see you flipping your wig but not at the level that winter does inside of this book it was it, it was just like i said it ain't sit right in my spirit but i'm gonna go ahead and drop back down to the journal and we gonna come back to this because i was just like nah I, I'm, I'm not liking this I'm not liking this, Miss Carter. I'm not liking this. Okay, y'all. We are down at the book review page, and we're going to go ahead and start uh, adding the stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and drop this cover again for Intrigued by Danger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we want to go ahead and... Um,
so enough about that heifer. Um, <laughs> so the journal's coming along uh, nicely. So we're going to uh, wrap this up, okay? Because we're going to be here all day again, okay? But enough about that heifer. Winter, we're here to talk about Declan and Ella because they, like I said, I just feel like they were just a beautiful couple on page. I just, I just love them. Like they are in my top, um, they're in my top couples, uh, like all time favorite cu uh, couples because just amazing. Um, so let's talk more about, uh, Ella and Declan. Okay, so also inside of this book, um, Ella is a dom. Okay, she is a dominant. And this is kind of like how and her and uh, Declan fall into this relationship, right? Um, Ella is able to uh, get Dom, uh, I'm sorry, to get uh, Declan to be more comfortable with his kinks. He does have kink, he, kinks. He comes from a family um, that, you know, dibbles and dabbles uh, and have their whole goddamn bodies um, planted inside of uh, the BDSM world. What I really did enjoy about this story as well is the time the Arthur took with telling, you know, the erotic uh, BD, BDSM um side you could tell that she did her research when she you know especially when she went into these scenes um that Ella and um Declan uh did together in the book you, she just really took her time with the story like I said early and I I so appreciate that because I feel like you know most times folks go inside they do erotic stories and they add the bdsm and they just it's, it's just all willy-nilly all over the place and shit it's just it's just like mm -mm -mm, we ain't supposed to be here i don't like this but i will say that uh miss carter did her um hey miss carter um she just did a really good job uh with uh declan and uh ella but like i said ella is uh she is a dom she's a dom and she she does it for a living so this is kind of like how her and declan uh start off their relationship um declan really had a hard time um like i say he comes from a family uh uh of it especially his father who wasn't on shit throughout this book, but I'm gonna get to that old ass man because, oh God, I re you know what? I ain't gonna talk too much on the father because I really did not like him inside of this book. He was just... <sighs> but, um, <laughs> he did not like it. He, Declan wanted to separate himself from that. You know, he, he didn't want any parts of it, but he also knew that he liked he had kinks that needed to be explored he um and ella i think ella's character or ella made him comfortable enough to start exploring uh exploring it more like he dipped his toe in it but because he did not want to be like his his father mainly his father i won't say his brother's mainly he did not want to be like his father he really didn't fully explore it but once he found out that ella was into the lifestyle and ella was doing her thing in that damn lifestyle um because he was able to just talk to her and, and get a lot of things off his chest uh when he talked to her uh it made it so much easier for him to go inside of uh, a dom sub relationship um with her I, I think Ella just make L I keep calling her Ella but it's L L made her so, made him so much more comfortable to really um be co just comfortable within his own skin um and and accepting that you know these kinks that he has um you know he should explore more and boy and boy oh boy oh boy did they oh the scenes inside this book was hot as hell I was just like girl y'all I was feeling it a little bit, okay? I, she really, really, really did her thing with these damn scenes inside of this book, especially that rope scene. 
girl, I was like, I feel a little hot, you know, and I was listening to this while I was at work, okay, and I was just like, oh, God, I, I got to take a break because this is too much. <laughs> the scenes were freaking amazing, um, but she just really made it comfortable for him to explore just how far he was willing to go uh, with his kink, just how far willing he was, you know, to go within the lifestyle itself. And it, it was just, yeah, De Declan really became like my favorite brother within this series because just his growth uh, across this story, throughout the story, was just phenomenal. And yeah, I, this goes into um, the relationships that um, that we saw, which was another amazing uh, growth uh, part of his character inside of this book, Declan really you know thought he didn't have a good relationship with his brothers he thought that his brothers did not care for him and i just love the brotherly relationships that we saw inside of this book especially with declan um having the anxiety that uh the level of uh you know anxiety attacks that he would had it was good to see that his brothers especially uh diesel his twin who would drop any, I mean, everything and be there um, when Declan needed them. Um, he would just show up um, to their houses and just, you know, just would be able to like cry on his brother's shoulders and just have conversations with his brothers. Um, you saw him get more and more comfortable throughout the story to start talking um, to them. And like in the beginning of the story, we see where as, you know, when you are a child and you have siblings, you know, y'all you, you, gonna go through it. So we see that with him and Diesel and, uh, you know, as they're growing up and, and why Declan feels that, you know, him and Diesel, his own twin, really didn't have like, you know, a good relationship. But you see like his brothers, I think his brothers really just wanted to um, bring Declan in and just, you know, love on him as much as as they could to make him realize that we love you and we're there for, that, for you. And yeah, we're a little tough, but, you know, we're trying to protect you, especially when it came to that trick that he that he ended up with for 20 years. It it, it was wow. Um, but the 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 brothers relationship inside of this book was just amazing and it was good to see because across all three books all of the brothers books we see the brothers um you know grappling with each other trying to build some semblance of a relationship uh with each other and that stems from their bald-headed ass daddy their daddy was that like them brothers was fucked up because the daddy was just he was a terrible ass man he was really really terrible i just ugh, i did not like that man in this book just mm-mm 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 but it was good to see the wrap up of the brothers' relationships by the end of Declan's book. How they all was just able to come together and be there for each other, especially with all of them finding their, you know, partners throughout, you know, these first three books. It, it was just an amazing thing, and I just love reading romances where we see male characters just being there for each other, you know, um, hugging each other. Um, like I say, just loving on each other. And yeah, I want to see more of that within romances as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, anyway. So this comes to their parents. We get uh, uh, we get the, the parents' relationship um, throughout the brothers' books. And it's not good. The daddy had, their father was freaking terrible. But inside of this book, I, I ain't even going to dwell too much on the parents' uh because I did not like neither one of them inside of this book, especially the father. Um, but it was good to see that the father apologized to Declan at the end of the story that, you know, he was the same way as Declan when he was growing up. But the only way he knew how to deal with Declan and what Declan was going through was how his father dealt with him. And, you know, it's that old man, tough love, especially within, uh, you know, 
with black people and, and, and black men and how they, you know, it's like, you got to be tough with your boy child, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, your mother too soft with you, and this is why the way you is and all this other stuff. It, it was just, anyway, but it was good to see that the father apologized to Declan um, by the end of the book because the father was move, moving real foul to so all their books. But with Declan, he was just so out of motherfucking pocket. I was just like, somebody please just. <sighs> but back to Ella and Declan's uh, relationship and their romance. We see them come together inside of this book, but we also see them. Um, they really have a non-problematic relationship. And I know that is weird to say, especially with Declan, you know, <laughs> being in a relationship, uh, already being in a relationship with someone, but they were barely in a relationship. Uh, him and Winter were even barely, like they were together, but you know, it's one of those things. They were together, but child, they really weren't. Um, and but because Declan was the way he was and he wanted to hold on um, to some semblance of, you know, keeping a family, especially since him and Winter had a son together. And his their son was just like the brightest light uh, on page in this story. Generally, I am not a fan of reading kids um, within romances, but I love their son. He was just the smartest thing ever. Loved the son um throughout the story and you you get the son uh Declan's son he is throughout the, the brother's books he's just a ray of sunshine but um back to Ella and De Declan's relationship they do struggle um towards the end of this book because you know Declan is struggling with you know what he wants to do with winter but by the end of this book we all understand that him and winter ain't mm -mm. that's a that is a door that should have been closed a long time uh the fuck ago and by the end of this book we all understood that Declan was in love with Ella and he needed to close that shit off with winter not even for the sake of their child she he has stayed with her because she was a manipulative ass bully and the way she ran rush out over him knowing that man dealt with such issues was was crazy but um she, she was wilding uh but their relationship throughout this story was really kind of like non-problematic um i will say the only thing that i had the only issue that i had with this book was the pacing she, the pacing was good for pretty much much of the read, okay? And I did a combination of listening and reading uh, the book uh, because I was listening while I was at uh, work. But towards the end of the book, I just feel like a lot of that stuff was that was there just needed to be cut out. Like, this shit that we got, this back and forth that we got between Declan... Uh, Ella and Winter, I, I, I did not want to see it because like I said, by the end of the book, we already understood that these two were in love with each other and all I wanted to see them do is cut this shit and get it, and get it the fuck together. All this shit Declan was talking about, something I'm going to try to figure something out. Nah, because Winter was wilding. Get her the fuck up out of here, okay? Uh, do what you got to do, you know, to protect your son and, you know, Declan was a really a good guy because the way winter was running over him and he was willing to be like you know i've been with her for 20 years and i don't want to see her out in the street you know i want to make sure she's taken care of and all this other stuff listen good dude but if that was my family member we would have been boxing that chick and get her the fuck up out of here because she was wilding but uh it was a lot of it was just too much uh overkill by the end you know towards the end of this book i i needed it wrapped up i needed it done i needed for him and ella to get together because they were in love okay they both was loving on each other they both knew that they had strong feelings for each other let's cut this shit of him trying to decide what he want to do if he want to continue this bald-headed ass relationship with 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 the ex like nah and plus she was moving real foul before declan even did anything with ella like this lady was tripping and they were in a small town in Florida and the way she was moving throughout that town mm -mm, get her the fuck on up out of here but let, 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 let's 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 finish my journal entry because mm -mm, 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so we have the book right there, and I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my other elements. But yes, y'all, that 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 lady had to go. But anyway, um, I just really did enjoy this book. Um, I realized that I didn't talk a lot about Ella, but I think this was more of a Declan book um, than you know Ella's book. Ella was really an extension of what was going on with uh, Declan inside of this book, and I fully believe that her character just helped along with his growth on page i did love the relationship that she had with her grandfather though um it, it was just really great she was one of those kids where her grandparents uh raised her we don't get much of her parents on page and i think that was you know or what happened to her parents and that that was enough for for me <laughs> but ella is a really l i keep calling her ella but it's l L was really a great character and like I said I fully believe that she was there to uh, help along with De Declan's growth on page and she was amazing for him and it was just great to see that they got a HEA at the end of this book because I was ready to box you Miss Carter I, I just want you to know that, that I was ready to like you know bop, 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 because mm -mm, no um, <laughs> But all in all, I did enjoy this book. Um, I'm gonna keep saying it. Um, I do. This was not. Not I do feel like no. This was the better book in the series. I did enjoy all of the books in the series. I did, but I think she did just an amazing job with Declan's story, um, especially uh, with him uh, dealing with the anxiety, uh, the level of anxiety uh, that he had throughout this book. Um, it, it was just great and she was very careful uh with you know talking 
um, you know, about his anxiety and the things that he went through and how he grew up, you know, and what he had to deal with. It was just a really well done story. So yeah, the better book in the series. Um, I hope she does continue the series. Like I said, she they have two, one or two sisters. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> I would love to see uh, the sisters, uh, what sisters books and what she does with them, especially with the brothers um, being in that last lifestyle. It would be interesting to know if the sisters are in that lifestyle too and, and how she handles uh, their stories. But it, it's a really good series. I would say if you love erotic stories, um, you know, she kind of like, you know, the, BD, the BDSM uh, is a little, you know, shaky in the first two books, um, even though I enjoyed the second book. Um, I enjoyed the BDSM that we got in the second book as well. Um, but it, it's a little bit shaky. She really does an outstanding job in uh, Declan's book. Uh, with the level of uh, conversation that she has uh, with uh, BDS uh, M in this book. Again, like I said earlier, especially with the scenes um, that we got between Elle and uh, Declan. Um, but yeah, if you love erotic stories and you are trying to diversify, diversify your shelves, then I would definitely say, you know, um, give the series a try. Uh, all of the books are available and um kindle uh and can you know through the kindle unlimited uh program um i can't remember the page count for the other two books but this book is 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 it's is, is the biggest book it's, it's it's a long book uh but again um she does very well with the pacing at the start of the book and i did a combination of reading and listening um but it, it was just that the end that got me I just think we just got an overload of information and I just need all of that to, to just let's wrap this up okay um but yeah this is a really good series uh, it's a the romance um on page we we do get romance I do believe we get romance on page uh with between L and Declan because Declan at the end of the day was a romantic guy um he was a relationship guy you know what I mean so the romance between them was really really just it was beautiful to see on page all in all I just really love this book so again if you love erotic romance uh you're trying to uh diversify your shelves you just really love to see good growth of personal growth of a character on page in a book this this book is just perfect like I am just amazed at uh, Declan's growth just amazing but uh yeah that is it for me um, and until the next one later days bye